Joe, can we ask you a couple questions in the, in the lobby? Yeah. On, on, on camera, but on camera. On camera. So I, I'm sorry, I remember you were here last time and I, I forgot your name, but uh, Calvin. Calvin, nice to see you again, Calvin. So I'm a little curious, like you're here at the Bitcoin Cash meetup today with a Dragon's Den hat and a Blockstream shirt. Like, if you don't mind, tell us, tell us why you're here today. Uh, well, well, you're, you're, the, the presentation that Jeff was giving was mm -hmm. about uh, logical, scale, logical arguments for, for Bitcoin Cash schemes. Uh, my argument is that they are illogical. They, they, they sacrifice decentralization, which is the main, that's the main innovation. That's decentralized consensus. If you take away, if you take away the decentralized and decentralized consensus, what's, why is it better than PayPal? So I want to put this argument out there so we could have a, have a uh, productive meetup. What do you think about the fact that on the online forums that are controlled by Bitcoin core supporters like yourself, if I make some arguments, my posts will literally be deleted. What do you think about that? Well, let's say you for uh, banning or, or blocking people on Twitter. The only people I block on Twitter are people that send me pictures or videos of animals t passing number two or people that send me photos of my own middle finger. I've never blocked anybody that actually makes any sort of an argument. I only block people that send basically borderline obscene photos uh, on Twitter. So, so you did. I answered your question. How about you answer my question? What do you oh, think about the, if I go on our Bitcoin right now today and I post some reasons why I think Bitcoin Cash is a good idea or why I think Blockstream scaling roadmap is, is wrong, my post will be deleted so people don't even get to hear what I have to say on there. Did what, you try that? Yes, I have tried it and I've had numerous posts deleted. And so is Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase. Uh, so I'm asking you. Do you have proof of Yes, that? I have proof of that. And I, I've posted photos online and I can pull them up for you. So for the sake of argument, assuming what right. I say is true, what do you think about that? Well, I'd say that our Bitcoin does not represent Bitcoin. If that is true, Bitcoin, Nobody represents Bitcoin. Bitcoin is an open source software. It's nobody controls Bitcoin. That's the point of Bitcoin. So I don't, I support Bitcoin. But what I is Bitcoin, Bitcoin to you? Bitcoin is a new type of innovation that, that in this, in the world of today, there were no decentralized consensus before. Now we have it. Would you say it's a peer to peer electronic cash system? I would say decentralized consensus is the main innovation in Bitcoin. And so would you say that it's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? I would say it's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Do you think that's what Blockstream is busy building? I believe so, because uh, with the new innovations coming from the Lightning Network with the L2 paper that's yeah. coming. Can you help me set up a Lightning wallet on my phone here and send me some money via Lightning? Well, uh, currently, you can't. It's what? Up. What? What? Currently, the development for mobile wallets aren't so there you, for a mobile. Phone. So hold on, you want me to use Lightning Network? But it's not possible to use Lightning Network. Is well, that what Lightning I just Network heard? Is still, it's still in beta, so it's still, it's still coming along. So you guys, right now, hold you on. Can currently use it for internet, and you so, can currently use it. On, which app on can I install computer. and use it on my phone to make a payment for at a shop? Uh, it will come. Well, let's. So I can't slow. today, right? Let's be clear with our language. It's impossible for me to use Lightning Network right now today on my newest iPhone you or on any be, iPhone for that you matter. You would be correct in saying. Okay, that. so we've delayed adoption of worldwide use of cryptocurrencies in the hopes of Lightning Network being available someday for my iPhone. Is that right? Well, no. We're, no? We're, then we then how do, do I use Lightning Network today? What we want to do is we want to keep the decentralized consensus. That's the main innovation, and that's something that we need to keep. So you've been, so that's that's where our fundamental conflict of, of visions are. I don't think that that's the main innovation. I think the, the decentralized nature is just a tool that we use in order to achieve censorship resistance. And censorship resistance is the goal. Cash is not censorship. When was the last time anybody had their payment censored on Bitcoin Cash? Well, it's and very I'll, I'll show you. It's mathematically very possible. Pull out your phone right now. Uh, it's it's, in char it's charging right now. It's charging right now, so I can send you Bitcoin Cash from my phone to yours right now. I can't do that with Bitcoin Core on the Lightning Network, but well, I can do it with Bitcoin Cash. Now, whose transactions are being censored? Well, you can do that on the mobile payments if you use the main main chain. And how much was the fees back in uh, in December? Uh, how much are the fees right now? You know why? They're lower today than they were in December because people have stopped using Bitcoin like myself. I was say the same for Bitcoin Cash. No, the fees have always been low on Bitcoin Cash. Uh, in Satoshi's currently, Bitcoin Cash is higher than Bitcoin. That's absolutely not true. The it fees, is true. 
How much do you want to bet? Let's bet a thousand dollars on it right now. We'll pull up it and look it up right now. Would I'm you like a, to bet on that? I'm a college student. I do okay. not have that kind of. How about a gentleman's bet? And we'll look it up. And if you're wrong, I'll, you can wear a Bitcoin Cash T-shirt the next time you come to a meetup. How is that fair? Uh, and if, if I'm wrong, I'll wear a Blockstream T-shirt at the next time I come to a meetup. In well, Korea. I'm not a gambler like you, so. It's a T-shirt. There's nothing at risk, and I'll pay for either T-shirt. No, I'm good. So you're. You're not confident in the thing that you just asserted so confidently? You well, just told me that the Bitcoin core transactions are lower than Bitcoin cash transactions. In Satoshi's. In Satoshi's per byte. And I said that that's incorrect. And I can pull it up and prove it to you right now. And if I'm wrong, I'll wear a Blockstream t-shirt. If I'm right, you'll wear a Bitcoin cash t-shirt. So well, and I'll pay for both t-shirts. So you have absolutely nothing on the line except for your pride. Well, the thing what is, say you? The, the, the payment, the, the, the fees are con con uh, constantly changing. So yep. and the fees are the consistently moment, higher on Bitcoin Core than on Bitcoin Cash. That would be false. That I, I, so I let's bet on it. A T-shirt, right? Currently, you're or, saying it's false, but you're not willing to, to put even wearing a T-shirt on the line in regards to that. Well, what I have to do is I have to search it, and it's currently. I'll search it for you right now, and since you're not willing to take a bet, we'll put this on YouTube, and everybody can see that you're just making stuff up right. that isn't true. So give me one second, and we'll pull it up. So, so Bitcoin Core fees per byte or Satoshi's per per byte. Is it possible to ask a personal question? Go for it. Um, I have heard from uh, reputable sources that you were you were claiming that you did not know too much. You don't you don't know the technical aspects of Bitcoin, so it's better left up to the Bitcoin core devs to make up the decisions for Bitcoin. I may have said something along those lines that I'm not as technically adept as many of the Bitcoin core devs. So you said that they should make the decisions themselves for what's best for Bitcoin but they don't have any understanding of economics. And if they're not coding towards the right economic goal, it doesn't matter how good of software programmers they are, so. You didn't answer my question. What is, rephrase it again so I can understand. You said that you aren't as technically knowledge as the core developers, so you said that core developers should make scaling decisions that they believe is the best for Bitcoin. I may have said that, so what is your question? Um, Currently, you don't believe in that. Absolutely not. I think the core developers on Bitcoin Core are a bunch of economic ignoramuses who have held back the rate of economic growth of the entire world. Well, not world. the economic. I'm talking about the decentralized nature of it. And once again, the decentralized nature is not the goal in and of itself. It's censorship well, resistance. Well, would you say, then would you say Would you like me to answer the question? Well, would, you just, just, would you say that Bitcoin Cash is centralized? No. I've, I don't know a single person ever that's ever had their Bitcoin can tra cash transaction censored. Is it possible to do a 51% attack currently on Bitcoin Cash? It's technically can possible I, to do it on Bitcoin Core, too. You just have to have it. enough hash rate. Well, can a pool do it right now? Can one single pool from Bitcoin I suppose it's Bitcoin possible, cash? sure, but it hasn't it's happened. It's very possible, so okay. it's insecure. So let's, let's look up your lie about the Satoshis per byte here. So give me one moment. So. What do you think the right thing to Google for? So I put maybe Bitcoin core fee rate or Satoshi's per byte and it didn't. I'll send it to you on Twitter. If you no, 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 I'll, I'll pull it up right here. Just pulling up the Wikipedia and stuff. What is it, Bit, bitcharts. You know the website I'm talking about? Bit, I am not aware of that website. Bit, bitchartsinfo.com or something like that. So hold on. Oh, there we go. Bitinfocharts.com, that's the Did one. Did you read the PDF file, the PDF file for that presentation? Okay, I can oh, send it to you right now, so. Should I forward it to, to Jeff, or I thought Jason sent it to everybody, no? Who should I? I'll just, just mean. Should I send it to you? One second. Hey, what do you think of the Satoshi's.place website? Or, or you can just send it to me. I think I think it shows true. how juvenile many people on the Bitcoin Core camp are drawing, drawing pictures of Bitcoin, network Bitcoin uh, Lightning Network transactions aren't Why Bitcoin transactions. They're not Lightning. They're not Bitcoin transactions. So hold on. Too many things happening at once. So uh, I saw you were. You want me to email it? To one, one moment, please. Just I, I didn't see that. Wait, okay. You want me to email it? Yeah, or? Email, email. Is this gonna be edited? Yeah, we'll edit out the boring parts where, like, I'm. Oh, doing you're gonna this. edit my art. And we we can we can post the thing in, in its entirety as well, right. so that people want to see the entire thing. But the one thing that I want them to see is that you weren't even confident oh, enough to make a bet over what T-shirt to wear. So, like, that's really, should be really embarrassing. So it's sending right now. So hold on, we'll I have the, the the website up here. So here we go. Bitcoin average transaction fees.
So here we go. You have the Bitcoin median transaction fee. Are you sure that's not a biased website? No, it's, I don't even know who owns it. So here we go. So in blue is Bitcoin Core, and in red is Bitcoin Cash. And so you can see even right now, if we zoom in all the way today, the blue line is higher than the red line. So there you go. If you had made the bet, you would be wearing a Bitcoin Cash shirt. So what you were saying was wrong. Would you like to zoom in? You, can you see that there? Well, I'll pull you up. With, I'll, I'll, I'll post it on Twitter. Or I'll, I'll show you that it was expensive. It, the Bitcoin Cash the, transactions the, were more expensive. The median transaction fee has never been more expensive on Bitcoin Cash than on Bitcoin Core ever. In Satoshi's? In Satoshi's per byte. Never. Never. And if we look, and here's the real problem. So this is why people like me that have been some of the biggest proponents of the adoption of cryptocurrency anywhere in the world gave up on Bitcoin Core because in December when the average fee was over $50 per transaction, well, it was no right. longer usable as a cryptocurrency. And if it wasn't right. usable as a cryptocurrency, it wasn't even Bitcoin at that point as defined in the very title of the Bitcoin white paper. Well, uh, let me ask you this point. Uh, why are you at a Bitcoin you... Cash meetup though too? Don't you have Bitcoin Core at this point? Um... What do you mean by Bitcoin Core? There's, oh, what, do you mean by Bitcoin Core the coin or Bitcoin Core the software? B take your pick, BTC, right? You have the, BTC. the coin using the ticker symbol BTC today. The this is a BCH meetup. The coin Why are you here? Ticker BTC. It's called Bitcoin, not Bitcoin Core. It's called Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin as, Core as listed coin. right it's on Bitcoin.com, which is a website with way more traffic than Bitcoin.org. Bitcoin.com Bitcoin. is a bit Bitcoin So I'll explain website. it to you. In December, I'm sorry, in August 1st of last year, Bitcoin, the one single Bitcoin with a ticker BTC split into two versions of Bitcoin. Bitcoin Core, which is not a digital currency, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Core Cash, is, which is, is a digital, digital currency, currency. And, is, and is Bitcoin as defined in the original Bitcoin white paper, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. So once again, I've answered your questions very directly. Why are you at a Bitcoin Cash meetup tonight? I You're obviously to not present, a Bitcoin Cash fan. I want to present my arguments. And I what do you think? Of, okay, okay, that's fine. So, and what do you think about the fact that my arguments are not allowed to be heard, or any Bitcoin Cash fans' arguments are um, not allowed to be heard on our Bitcoin, Bitcoin.org? Like Bitcoin I've been to your meetups, and I'll gladly go in the future, absolutely. Oh, okay. And we, I, have a, we have a meetup this Sunday. Would you like to? Uh, I actually leave on Saturday morning, but I, I can that's schedule it, and I'll come back to Korea again another time soon. I would love to. How many people show up at your meetups now? Um, More? Currently, there's a bear market, so a little bit less. 10, 20, 5? About 30-ish. About 30? So and tonight we have about 130-ish at the Bitcoin Cash Meetup. How does that make you feel? Uh, I would say that because we only present in English, that our audience is smaller in Korea. So we're working on that. I will be presenting. I will be leading the Korean presentation. So okay. if anybody wants to come that's in Korea, you're very welcome to. So I have another question for you. When was the last time you made a payment using Bitcoin? Well, when's the last time? Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Can you answer my question? I answer your questions very directly when I when you ask me them. When was the last time you made a Bitcoin payment? Well, the last time today, I made a yesterday, last week, last month. Well, I use it as a store of value. Every okay. Day. So when was the last time you made a Bitcoin transaction? It was back in March. In March, so like three months ago now. Just well, uh, let me ask you this point: What do you say about the Bitmex research that said there are to tons of more people holding Bitcoin Cash for speculative reasons than actually using yep. Bitcoin Cash? as what you mentioned, cash. And, and I'm one of those people. And the reason why I'm holding most of my net worth in Bitcoin Cash is because, because I can spend it anywhere. Just like people use the dollar or the euro or the Korean won as savings is because they can spend it anywhere. And Bitcoin Core has destroyed its ability to be spent anywhere. And that's why people are less people are using it as a store of value than otherwise would have been. Well, what's a you to the research that said Bitcoin, ca well, Bitcoin Cash has a lot more speculative value or a lot more people are holding it in skip, skip for speculative reasons then they're actually using for cash. And it's one the That's an incredibly bullish thing for Bitcoin Cash. So I have a bunch of Bitcoin Cash, 99% of it I'm just holding, well, and the then 1% I use for transactions. Percentage that's, the percentage of people that's using Bitcoin for transactions is higher than Bitcoin Cash. That means Bitcoin Cash is better money, right? What, what, did, you, what did you, that's, what did you that's say, very what do you want to, ironic. No, 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 no. And ironic. I'll explain it to you because I'm, I'm guessing you don't have a background in economics. Is that correct? I, I am an economics major. Tell me some economics books that you've read. Um, which one would you like to hear? How about John Maynard Keynes' General Theory of Money and Credit? Have you read that? Yes. Promise? Yes. Because you were lying about some other things earlier. I am an okay. economics major. T tell me about the book. I've read it from cover to cover when I was probably about your age, nice. I'm guessing in your early 20s. Is that right? Or yes. Tell me about the book. Is this another test? It is. I've read it cover to cover. And if you don't want to tell me about the book, I'll tell you about it. It's been 
maybe 18 years since I read it, but I still remember very clearly the general theme of it. Why don't you tell me about it? If you've read it well, cover to cover, you, you would remember. Well, you read it cover to cover, so would you tell me about it? You really don't. I th I'm guessing you haven't read it, is my honest opinion here. It, I have read it. it was you don't remember? Cur currently, I'm more busy with Bitcoin. So okay. So you don't remember what was in the book, basically, and that's why you can't tell me? I know the general, I know the general aspects of it, but I can't say I know cover to cover. Okay. And so let's I don't know word for word. Have you read any books from the Austrian School of Economics? I have not. Not a single one? No. Nope. No Murray Rothbard, no von Mises, no... How about Adam Smith, the general um, of the Wealth of Nations? Everyone knows Adam Smith. Have you read it? I have not read it. I I've read, read it cover to cover twice. Right. So you haven't read that one either. And you're, you're, What kind of economics major hasn't read Adam Smith? I and mean, that's basically the entire foundation of modern economics. Well, let me say to you, uh, what's... Uh, and you asked oh, me to, to, right. to, to generalize uh, John Maynard Keynes's book, right? And I'll gladly do it for you. So basically his entire idea is that if the government prints money, it'll trick people into thinking that they have more wealth than they actually do, at which point they'll go out and spend more money than they actually have because they've been fooled into thinking that they have more money. And so in the short term, it creates a lot of economic activity, but in the long run, it destroys the, the capital that could be used for actual capital goods that create more wealth in the long term. So. Uh, when John Maynard Keynes was, was confronted with that argument, his reply was, in the long run, we're all dead, right? Because in the long run, his plans lead to inflation and, and stagnation, right? Or an uh, oh, economy that's not doing as well. So he said, in the long run, we're all dead. Murray Rothbard commenting on that after John Maynard Keynes had died, he said, well, this is in the late 1970s when the world was having stagflation, something that John Maynard Keynes said was impossible. Murray Rothbard said, well, now Keynes is dead and we're all living in his long run. So I would really implore you to read Adam Smith, read Murray Rothbard, read Ludwig von Mises, and I think you'll have a totally different opinion about Bitcoin and, and what makes money money. Well, have you, do you know what makes uh, Bitcoin decentralized? The decentralization do is not- Do you know the technology behind yes, it? Yes, I do. So have I've, you read all the GitHub pages? I haven't read every GitHub page, but- well, that's I'll, a shame. I'll, hold on. So um, a lot of people like to mock me and claim that I don't have any sort of technical background. I've done some programming in the past. I started two very successful tech companies in Silicon Valley and employed lots of uh, software engineers and lots of hardware engineers. And uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not ignorant when it comes to that field. So I'm certainly not as knowledgeable as others, but I'm, I'm not just some uh, person with no clue when it comes to that either. And I've shown time and time again that I have a very good sense of timing and business and how to get things done and build businesses. I built Bitcoin.com from nothing into a giant team You build today. businesses, but you don't yeah. know the technology behind them. Would you say that you're less knowledge Hold than on. the technology behind them than you are at doing businesses? So let's, en you say engineers, that? software engineers work for business developers, right? Not the other way around. And so let's look at the, one of the businesses well, I found. It was a company called Agile Star. Well, Bitcoin One of my customers, that. you're Korean, right? Chris. So one of my best customers uh, was a company called SK Networks here in Korea. I sold tons and tons of optical transceivers that we designed, manufactured, and produced to companies like SK Networks, right? You don't right. just do that by, by being lucky or stupid, right? It's through having some technical smarts and some business smarts and combining the two together. So, right. And but you're very you young, would, so I can't give you... But you wouldn't say that you're as technically knowledge than you are in business. And I've already shown that you're not as economically knowledgeable as I am. You claimed you read a book from cover to cover and you couldn't give one example about the details that were in that book. What's another economics book that you have read? Well, the thing, Can you name one? Well, I could... I could you I can't could even tell, name I one? Could name one. You, the, you said you're an economics major. Principles of economics. Name one economics book that you've read and you learned those principles from. Principles of economics. That's a book? That's a book. Who's the author? Um, I, I don't remember. It's, it's been a while. So you've read a textbook, maybe part of it? Well, if you look at my GPAs, you wouldn't say that. I, I study for the test, so. I think practical knowledge is worth even more than, so I'm a, I'm a college dropout. I didn't graduate from college. Right. Yeah. Does that mean that my opinion is less, less valid? I would say that in technical aspects, your opinion is less valid. Bill Gates, his opinion's less valid on technical issues. He's another college dropout. Well, the difference between Bill Gates and you is that Bill Gates has developed a operating system. You haven't. Uh, I believe Bill Gates bought it and then modified it from there. Well, he's, well. How about Steve Jobs, another college dropout? Is his opinion less valid because of you're it? Talk, you're, you're talking about unrelated things. I don't, you just said that my opinion is less valid because I'm a college dropout. Right. I'm asking you if Steve Jobs or Bill Gates' opinion is less valid because they're college I'm dropouts. Saying that you don't, well. I'm saying that it's ir illogical to compare yourself to those people. I'm asking, you said. Uh, I am. Okay, let's back up a step. 
my opinion is less valid because I'm a college dropout, yes or no? Uh, I wouldn't. I didn't say that you're. Making Why is my words. opinion less valid then? Because you're not as technically knowledge in the. How do you know? You haven't read it. Because because it clearly shows. So do you think you're? Well, let me ask you. You haven't this. even studied economics. You didn't even know what was inside. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Uh, do you know why SPVs don't work? Tell me why you think SPVs don't work. They work. Because they work fantastic. I have a bread wallet right here on my the phone. The thing is, SPVs follow the longest proof of work. Yep. So what that does is it only follows the longest proof of work. You don't prove anything. SPV nodes do not prove anything. So, so run your own full node or connect to a full node that you trust. Right, but right. Bitcoin Cash doesn't want to do that. Bitcoin Cash supports SPV scaling. SPV is, scaling is what was described in the original Bitcoin white paper. So you opposed the original Bitcoin white paper? The Bitcoin original Bitcoin white paper, it doesn't work. Okay, so you think Bitcoin doesn't work, got it. I, don't, I do not I think that. they're calling me, thank you for your time.